Our Heavenly Father, Creator of all things, Father, you are holy, righteous, glorious, and almighty. We give you all the honor, glory, and praise. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. Hello, everybody. Glenda Coker here, um, known as Gloria, G-L-O-R-Y-I-A. Thank you for tuning in to the Blessings Show. I really, really appreciate you all. I really, really appreciate you all. I thank you every, every, every single week. I thank you for um, downloading downloading the show sharing the shows and i just thank you thank you a little bit um about myself i'm i am your sister i am your sister i am here every week um online offline um but i am here to read scriptures and discuss scriptures with you and um name is gloria tell you a little bit about that um one day I was, I asked God, I was, I just asked God, well, God, what do you think about me? I had a little pencil, little pad, little paper, little pad, and, um, maybe an ink pen, I don't know, ink pen, pencil. <laughs> and I, you know, God told me, God told me some things about myself. And as he told me, uh, what he thought about me, I wrote them down. And at the end of him telling me, uh, what he the things that he thought about me, what he thought about me, which was wonderful, wonderful. Um, at the end, he said, and your name is Gloria. And I said, wow, Gloria. Okay, then I thought, you know, how to spell it, how to this, that. And he told me any way you want to. So I spell it G-L-O-R-Y-I-A, uh, Gloria. So no need to do anything legal or anything, um, because when I get to heaven, my mom's not going to know me. No, <laughs> But uh, she's going to be asking for, where's Glenda, where's Glenda? And um, I've changed my name to Gloria. No, but that's a little joke. But um, that is true. You know, when I asked God, you know, what do you think about me? And I was writing everything down. And in the end, he said, in your name is Gloria. So I am Gloria. I go as Gloria. Um, my legal, legal name is Glenda Coker, but my spiritual name is Gloria. Um, just a little bit of information there. But um, tune in every, every, every single week. Every single week. Um, you can uh, Google me, Glenda Coker, G-L-E-N-D-A-C-O-K-E-R. And um, I want to talk. I'm going to um, talk about a couple of scriptures here. And um, I just want to just, just, I just want to just thank you. First of all, I just want to just thank everybody. I really, really appreciate you all. And you all, um. We don't have, there, there, there's a lot that we don't know the day and hour. We don't know the day and hour um, um, that Jesus is coming. We don't know. And there's been a lot that's been going around. There's a lot that, that um, it's just around on the internet and the videos and things like that. So we have to get in prayer with God. We have to stay in prayer and um, we have to read our Bibles and also God reveals to us what he wants us to know. And um, I have had I have had um, different revelations and, and scriptures given to me. I had a, a scripture that um, came to me. First of all, I want to you to turn your Bibles to um, or listen in either or. Um, I'm going to be reading out of the book, the Bible, a couple of scriptures from Luke and a couple of scriptures from John. Um, and we've been reading uh, for the last couple of weeks, I'll just say. We've been reading in the book of Psalm, Psalms in the book of Psalm in the book of Proverbs, you know, with all everything going on with the hurricanes and so forth. So, you know, words of encouragement and everything. And, and, and the Lord was just leading me to, um, just read though, read, um, the scriptures from the book of Psalm and, and the book of Proverbs. So we've been doing that for a couple of weeks, but this week I'm going to be reading, um, um, you can flip back and forth with me or listen, like I said, from the book of Luke and John. And um, it's just just telling us, you know, just to to just to stay ready, just to stay ready, just to stay ready. And um, Jesus, Jesus, there's only one way 
to the Father. And that's through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. You know, there are a lot of people say there are many ways to God. There. No, there's only one way. There's only one way to to the Father through Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to, first of all, um, let's just turn to, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at, um, 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 I have some scriptures here about Jesus saying about, um, anyone who drinks, um, drinks of the water of him, um, that's eternal life. You will never thirst. And that's in the, the, the book of John. Um, there's a scripture, um, John chapter four, verse 13, um, through 14 and um, John chapter 7 verse 37 through 38 and it's talking about thirsting and, 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 and drinking his water which is taking taking him in this is the only way to everlasting life this is the only way that Jesus gave his life for us for the salvation and it's a, it's a whole salvation package that that we have once we acknowledge Jesus and accept Jesus and ask Jesus to come into our life as our Lord and Savior. We have to reach out. We have to reach out because salvation is there for us. It's not automatic if we refuse not to accept it. So it's very, very important in, in the salvation and, and acknowledging and saying it with your mind, heart, and soul that you believe this, that you believe this, you know, and, 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 and things start um, opening up and being revealed to you. So it's very, very, very important. Very important. The only way to the Father, the only way to salvation, the only way to anything. Is through Jesus Christ. You cannot even pray. You cannot even pray to straight to the Father. We're, 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 we're flesh and blood. We need the mediator. We need to be in the Spirit. We need to be in the Spirit. You know, so um, this is very, 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 very important. Very important. Very important. If you hear any noise in the background, um, there's a little um, family and things moving around. And my, my beautiful, beautiful D.O.G., Layla, she's always around. Um, and she's here. And um, she she just loves the show. I'm going to try to get her to bark one day <laughs> to say hello. But um, this, let's, let, let's go to the book of, of Luke. And um, chapter 12. Luke chapter 12, and I'm going to read, first of all, I'm going to be skipping around here, but chapter 12, verse 35 through 37, and I'm reading now from the ESV, um, English Standard Version, and it says, stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning, stay dressed for action and keep your lamps burning. And be like men who are waiting for their master to come home from the wedding feast so that they may open the door to him at once when he comes and knocks. Blessed are those servants whom the master finds awake when he comes. Truly I say to you, he will dress himself for service and have them recline at table and he will come and serve them hallelujah hallelujah this right here is jesus talking and he's telling you he's telling you to stay stay awake stay dressed for action keep your lamps burning because we don't know we do not know the day the time the hour and i want you to if you're in your bibles um Stay there in Luke chapter 12 and um, go up to 32. I'm going to read 32 through 34. Now, this is this is what came to me um, when everyone was speaking of, you know, um, um, the, the 23rd and this and that and the world may end and all of that. This is a scripture that came to me. And, and, and what that is saying is I, I looked at a few videos I did. Um, it's saying there's a star in the sky. There's a star in the sky. Um, 
when Abraham was born. They say 2,000 years later, there's a star in the sky when Jesus was born. Now they're saying now, 2,000 years later, there's this star in the sky. I don't know if it's in Jerusalem or where it's supposed to be, but there's supposed to be a really, really bright star in the sky that has appeared now from 2015 um, to, and it's still here 2017 and they're saying that star in the sky from Abraham appeared I guess for two years or however those years went and for Jesus however those years went and went for two years and now the star in the sky now um, 2,000 years later is 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 been here from 2015 to through 2017 so people are saying you know what's going on there's always been a revelation going on um um every 2000 years so now they're looking at the earthquakes and things like that so there's a little uproar so um there's a scripture that came to me there's the scripture that came to me um on that day the 22nd day um, right before the 20, 23rd and this scripture was Luke, Luke chapter 12, verse 32 through 34. And it said, um, fear not. It says, fear not little flock for it is your father's good pleasure to give you to, it, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, sell your possessions and give to the needy. Provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail. Where there, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Now this came to me, this came to me on the 22nd. And I say that because... Um, I get daily Bible scriptures that come to me, um, daily Bible scriptures that come to me like a little, about 12 o'clock in the morning will turn over a new, um, Bible scripture automatically for me. Um, 12, 12, little 12 is or so AM in the morning. Um, and that would be it until, you know, the following morning, 12, 12 something again. But on that day, there was a scripture that, that popped up and came up. About, I don't know, 7 o'clock that evening or so. And I said, wow, isn't this something, an extra, a, a, another scripture, which has never happened. So, um, this is the one that came up about fear not little flock. I'll read it again. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell your possessions. And give to the needy, provide yourselves with money bags that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Okay, so that came to me. And another scripture just came up and I said, wow, wow, wow. You know, so um, things are happening. Things are changing as we can see, but we do not know the exact day, time, or hour. But God reveals things to us so that we can stay ready. We can stay ready. We don't know. We can. We, we need to stay ready at all times because we see these earthquakes. We see these things going on. We see all of this going on in the earth, and it cannot be ignored. That yes, we are in a time and the end. And I don't know really the, the stars every 2,000 years and all of that. But that, that, that's what's being said. So, uh, we just keep our eyes open. Um, um, keep our, our, keep ourselves ready and together and, and keep on, um, encouraging each other. Keep on, um, preaching the word. Keep on, um, helping people and also people helping us also helping you and me, um, feedback encouraging each other that's what it's all about to never never stop we have to take a stand somewhere we have to take a stand we just cannot just sit back we cannot just sit back and 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 do nothing we must do something we must be active and going over to um the book of john the book of John chapter 7, I'm going to read 30, 
um, 37 through 30.